Uh, just your thoughts uh, on, on the performance tonight, having to uh, grind out a draw with uh, with 10 players for most of the game. Yeah, I think it was not a pretty game. Um, and I think we were probably we were disappointed with the way that we started the game. We were a bit kind of all over as a team. Um, I think probably after 20 minutes, we started to, we changed a few things and we came more together and we started to grow into the game. Um, and then obviously we things changed just before half time, but I think the whole squad deserves huge credit for the way that we stuck together to half time. Um, we spoke about it and there was never kind of panic within the group. Um, and I think what you saw was probably a different side of us tonight. We knew that we had to be hard to beat first and foremost and fight for each other. And I think you could see that in abundance tonight. Let's see, uh, Steph, go ahead. Thank you. Hi, thanks for your time tonight. Um, yeah, talking about how you guys had to hold on with 10. We were just talking to Jail and she talked about how because you didn't have the full team, you couldn't go into your full pressing shape on the attack. But it did seem like you were, you know, still going for it all the way up until the end from your point of view back there. How do you implement that when you're obviously a player down? You've got a new player like Wang Shuang in, who's mm -hmm. maybe not, you know, an ideal introduction to the league, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, the first thing I said to Wang was, welcome to the NWSL. <laughs> um, but no, like you say, like it wasn't our usual game. And I think that's where you saw a different side of us. And I think this, the amount of fight that this team has got, we showed it tonight. Um, and like you say, we have to show a different side. We have to be hard to beat. And we couldn't always do the high press, but I think we what we did was we stuck together as a team and we always knew that the nature of the players that we've got and the players like Wong coming on, the quality that she's got, we were going to get chances, we were going to get moments in the game and I think we had a couple of moments, we, we knew we were going to get set pieces and with the quality of the delivery, the attackers that we've got, we knew that we were going to get moments, so it was never kind of, you know, the game's gone from us. Um, we knew we had to almost play a bit more tactical in terms of pick and choose our moments. Um, but yeah, I think you you definitely saw that we battled well. Um, it was tough, obviously, being down a player, but Houston have been flying high, scoring goals, and to keep a clean sheet tonight, I think the, the whole squad deserved credit. Thank you. Uh, Michael, go ahead. Uh, so when you get a defender sent off um, and as captain and as kind of the leader of the back line, is that up to you to kind of immediately reorganize or is it just kind of a natural thing? Everybody kind of knows where to go. Uh, just kind of talk us through, you know, what goes through your, your head when you have a player sent off and you have to kind of get ready, you know, immediately to defend mm -hmm. differently. Yeah, I mean, I mean, my first thought was obviously we had the free kick close to the edge of the box. Um, and I think it was quite a natural um, fall into place to to who we had as the back four with the players that we had on the field. So I think we kind of seamlessly worked it in. Um, so we already discussed it as we were setting up for the set piece um, and we managed to kind of figure it out. And then we knew that there was, well, I could see there was only a few minutes till a halftime break. So for me, I'm saying like next five minutes, just stay together. Let's get to halftime. We can figure things out. But the most important thing is we get to halftime still nil nil um but i think and then obviously the the information also comes from the side but i think at that moment we've got players that that realize the situation as well that it kind of naturally happened and we were already kind of set at the same time the information was coming on so again huge credit to the girls to realize that situation and we sorted it pretty efficiently and i think you could see that yeah so, so talk to us a little bit about what it's like to have players with so much flexibility on the back line, like Emily and and Julia, who, who are able just kind of to immediately fall into place. And obviously Lauren as well, who, who's, yeah. you know, maybe just playing a little bit out of position to begin with. Yeah, for sure. I think it's, it's a huge positive and it's something we've got all over the squad and it gives us so much flexibility in how we can play and where we can play players. Um, and it gives us options to change in games. Um, but I think it also speaks volumes about the people that we've got here that they're willing to, play anywhere and do a job for the team and I think if anything tonight you saw that you know people had it was backs to the walls at times we knew we weren't going to dominate possession we knew there were going to be moments where we've got to grind and push through it but you know never once did players kind of throw the towel in and we knew that we were always hopeful you know what we're going to get a chance but unfortunately we didn't get the moment that we needed to get the win but still coming away um, away from home 
against Houston with a clean sheet and in the circumstances, I think we have to be definitely proud of, of the players. And Jim, a little bit of history tonight was made with Wang coming on. Um, she's the first Chinese player to ever play in the NWSL. Mm -hmm. um, what has she brought to the team? Uh, what, it's been, what has it been like training with her the last couple of days? Oh, she's, you can see she's, her natural talent is unbelievable. You know, the way she sees the game. And I think, you know, although the, the English barrier is there a little bit, I think she, she understands, she understands football and you can show her and she picks things up straight away. And I think her as a, a character coming into the group, she's, she's fitted in so well. She's so happy. She's great to be around the group. Um, and I think you could see glimpses of what she was capable of tonight. And to say she's only trained with the team for a couple of days, she came on, she had that chance and, you know, she's, she's a huge addition for us and it's the kind of players we want to be attracting to the club. Um, but definitely her, her as a person and her as a player is unbelievable from, from what we've all seen so far. And, you know, she knows she's got the full support of everyone behind her.